In this video, I'm going to be creating three album covers for my favorite artists in Photoshop. And I'll be walking you through every step, so at the end of the video, you can create your very own album cover designs. So without further ado, let's dive into Photoshop. So first up, we're going to create an album cover for the one and only, the Notorious B.I.G. So we're going to kick things off with this image here. I also really want this sweater thing he's wearing, although it might not look as cool if I'm wearing it. So let's drag that into Photoshop and use a little bit of generative fill to extend that out a little bit over here. Now I want to focus on the layout first, so let's add in a simple rectangle down the side like this. And let's change that to, let's go for a navy blue. Okay, so next I want to bring him in front of the shape to add some depth to the design. So we can use the pen tool to make a quick selection and add a layer mask to remove the background and move him in front of the shape like this. Okay, so now I want to add in some typography. So let's add in the word biggie. And I want to find a font that really stands out. Oh yeah, this one is very nice. So let's move that around there and change that to white. And let's use a black brush to add a little bit of shadow around here as well. And he needs a background behind him because this just isn't really doing it for me. So let's add in a nice blue fill and also some subtle clouds behind him as well. Okay, so this next step is either going to make this album cover a million times better or it could just ruin the entire thing. So I'm going to try adding in some halftone. Now, if you don't know what halftone is it's basically a retro retro graph retro gradient graphic Okay, it's basically this. Can you see these very small dots? That's basically a halftone pattern. So to add some halftone, I'm going to select all the layers, duplicate everything, and then convert all these layers into one smart object. So now we can add filters to the entire project at the same time. So now let's come up to filter and go into the filter gallery. And look at this, we have a halftone pattern right here. So now just change this size control so you can see the individual dots. And then we're going to add another filter. And let's go for this graphic pen option here here. And these sliders completely depend on what image you're using, but I'm going to go for something like this. And finally, let's add a film grain filter and add a very small amount of grain. And there we have it. We now have this grungy halftone effect and even look at the edges of this text. I just think this is such a cool effect and it's also so easy to do as well. And now I'm going to add in some smaller details and pieces of text. And as a complete side note, I know this isn't really an album cover that Biggie would ever actually use. And it's definitely more of a modern kind of brutalism type of design and in my opinion the best album covers are the simplest ones but I wanted to make something like this so I could show you guys a bunch of different effects and techniques within Photoshop. Okay so I'm going to finish this off by adding in a very subtle gradient map so let's go for something like this and lastly if you want to make any album cover look 10 times cooler all you got to do is just stick one of these in the corner it literally works every time and there we have it so I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out especially how the halftone filter is adding in so much texture over here. But next up, we're going to create an album cover for the absolute legend himself, Kendrick Lamar. So Kendrick has been just casually dropping some of the greatest albums of all time for years at this point. And for this design, I want to create something in his visual style that could actually be one of his album covers. So I'm going to start off with this photo here and let's drag that into Photoshop. And I'm also going to drag in this image as well. And let's put Kendrick around there. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this guy here. And then let's make a selection like this and put him around here. And obviously this needs a lot of work. So let's add in some shadows on the car and fix up these colors as well. And let's also add a little bit of blur to fade out some of these harsher edges. Oh, that actually doesn't look too bad. So next, let's add in a white border around the design. And I want to go for something like this Good Kid Mad City cover. So let's add in a white rectangle down here and whack in some simple handwritten text for the album title. And obviously let's get one of these down here as well. And that's actually looking pretty tasty so far, but I want to add in something up here. And I've tried adding in some normal typography and it's kind of working, but for this one, I want to try something more unique. So let's go for this font called Fit and put that around there. Now this looks kind of cool, but I want to take this one step further. So I'm going to drag out another white rectangle to cover this text. Then I'm going to hold down Control or Command and click on this text layer to make a selection of the text. Now I'm going to hide this layer and select the white rectangle that we just created, hold down Alt and click on this layer mask button. And I actually think that looks way better because you can see the colors from the sky are actually filling up the letters. And yeah, I just think it looks way more unique and also visually interesting as well. And finally, I'm going to drag in some grungy retro textures. And as always, if you do want to download some textures like these, I have a bunch of free texture packs on my site. So yeah, there'll be a link in the description if you do want to check that out. And there we have it. Here is my Kendrick Lamar album cover. 
And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And last but not least, I'm going to try and create an album cover for ASAP Rocky, who honestly has some of the best visuals and designs that you'll ever see. And for this one, I'm going to try and design something quite simple and beginner friendly. So I'm actually going to screenshot this scene from one of his music videos. And let's go ahead and drag that into Photoshop. And to be honest, this would probably make for a pretty good album cover on its own, but that probably wouldn't be the best Photoshop tutorial. So I'm going to add in some text here using the font Monument Extended. And let's put that around there. And let's also add a layer mask to the text, make a selection of his hand using the pen tool, and then delete this area of the layer mask on the text. Next, I'm going to add a very slight bluey green tone to the money lying on the floor. So let's go select and select subject, then invert this selection by pressing Control, Shift, and I. And then I'm going to add a selective color adjustment layer that is only going to target the areas around our subject. So I've actually just had an idea. What if this money around him was actually on fire. So I'm going to try this by using this image here. And let's use the blend if sliders to remove the dark pixels. And now let's duplicate this image, reset these blend if sliders, hold alt and click here to add an empty layer mask. And then I'm going to paint in some subtle darker areas to give a nice burnt effect like this. And let's do that a couple more times. And as always, let's finish it off with one of these bad boys. And there we have it. Here is the final album cover design. So out of these three designs, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. For me, it's definitely the Kendrick one, but I would be interested to hear what you guys think. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you are new, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.